Hello everybody, this is Muzaffar and in this video I am going to show you how to create database migrations using Golang Migrate. Before we proceed, please make sure you have Go and Postgres installed on your computers. I already have a video on installing both Go and Postgres. I'll also add the links to the info card and the video description below. I will also push the source code uh, to a GitHub repository which will be linked in the video description below. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's head to the terminal and verify Postgres installation, Postgres version. I have Postgres uh, 15 installed and for my grid, you can verify I don't have it installed yet. So let's go. Uh, to the github repository and this is the page uh, this is the repository and if you scroll down you will see we we have multiple ways to install this uh, on mac and you see we can use cli and import it as a library in our go projects so today i will be installing it as a cli so we'll just click on it before we do that, uh, we can check out uh, the databases uh, it supports. So I will be using Postgres today, but you also have uh, some other options like uh, MySQL, MariaDB and many other options here. Even MongoDB is here. So let's go to the CLI page. And if we go to CLI documentation, we can find we can find installation commands on mac so i can use curl uh, to download this and unzip and keep it use it uh, but i will be going with the brew package so just copy this one go back to the terminal clear the screen paste there Alright, seems to have installed the migrate package and now just verify a few things. Alright, so the binary is called migrate. We can check it out. Migrate test test shell. Yep, it is now installed. We can also check the version. So again, I have installed it using Homebrew, uh, but uh, you can uh, also install it using Go install. So it is up to you. All right. So yeah, let's create our first migration. So in order to create migration, uh, uh, we need to create a project first. So the project name is going to be Golang Migrate Demo. Let's change into it and open it in VS Code. There is nothing into it. Let's uh, generate. Uh, the initial schema so in order to generate up and down files uh, we can do migrate also we can check the help command here for create so you see uh, we can use uh, migrate create command create up and down files uh, and we can specify directory extension sequence timestamp etc so let's go ahead and create now so migrate create and the extension txt is going to be sql there 
and directory is go, uh, will be this db slash migrations so that will be automatically generated and uh, i i want sequential uh, numbers for each migrations so it will add numbers in the name of the migration file uh, in it the schema let's press enter and yeah it has created up and down files let's go back to the code and we can see we have both the files here right now they are empty uh, but we can add some sql into it so far up i want to create a users uh, table and there i want to drop it so let's uh, copy the sql Yeah, oh, this one, go back to the VS code, paste it. So this will uh, create a simple uh, users table with ID name created at and updated at columns. And uh, the next one, on down, I need to drop the table. So I'll paste it here. So when we execute down command, it is going to execute this query and here it is going to execute the create table query so uh, yeah uh, okay so before we uh, proceed any further i want to create a database for this project and a user which i will be using with uh, migrate cli to execute these migrations so let's go to the terminal, clear the screen, let's copy this uh, command, create database. So before I create database, let's, uh, let me uh, start Postgres, so just to verify whether it is uh, started, it is not, so I'm going to start using the start. Okay, so PG status now it is running. Let's uh, let's go and execute the database creation command. So Postgres, I will go to default database, PG SQL, P SQL, and default database. And here I can just execute the command for creating database. So the name of the database is going to be Golang Migrate Demo. Press enter, let's verify. Yep, it's been created. Let's create a user. I'll name the user same as the database name, which is Golang Migrate Demo. And the password is going to be uh, secret. And this is going to be a super user press enter now if we do slash du we can see the user here and if we check uh, the databases again i have the database here uh, but right now uh, golang migrate uh, demo user does not have any privileges uh, access privileges set for this database so let's set it i'll copy this command and I'll grant all the privileges uh, to this user to that database. So this is the name of the database and this is the name of the user. And I'm granting all the privileges uh, to that database. So press enter and now if I do slash L, I should be able to see the access privileges to that user uh, to that uh, database and this is the user so all seems to be good Let's exit from this okay so before we execute uh, these migrations uh, we need to space uh, we need to uh, set uh, postgres url environment variable this is uh, 
prerequisite for executing the up command both uh, up and down commands so let's set export this variables and uh, this is going to be called postgres url and the name of the user if you remember was calling migrate demo and password was secret and localhost this is going to be port and uh, lastly the database name again it is same calling migrate demo and ssl mode is going is uh, going to be set as disabled Let's press enter and now if we echo we should be able to see the environment variable set correctly okay now uh, let's go ahead and execute the migration the up migration it should uh, basically create this tab okay so uh, let's go to migrate Oh yeah, these are the comments. So we can execute them now using migrate. Database up command. And here uh, it is expecting this uh, database URL to be set. So I set it already. And I'm just passing the environment variable here for this database uh, param the database parameter and the another parameter is path so if you remember my migrations were under db migrations uh, directory so this is the path and finally i am applying the migration so that is why i have up here let's press enter all right it seems to have applied the migrations so let's execute p sql let's verify the table creation so i can do p sql and the database name was calling migrate demo and i'll just execute the command from here directly so i'll just to slash d this should display all the tables so yeah the users table have been created let's uh, do select from users don't have any rows So this confirms the table creation let's go ahead and execute the down command just to verify it also works so down uh, will basically drop the users table let's execute it and yes it's been executed let's confirm the uh, tables again this time we don't have a users table here let's execute the command again upcoming yeah. so again if we verify we should see the users table so that's about it for creating database migrations using Golang Migrate. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you in next video.